All right, guys, so we just listened to the story of What's Stronger, where it gave us some real-world examples of how water can affect landforms. So remember that the question that we're investigating is how could water change a landform even though the landforms are made of hard rock? So we're going to be thinking a lot about the examples in our book. So what new information did the book provide about how water can change a landform? So you guys can go ahead and pause this video and you can either answer the question by writing it in your packet, you can talk to somebody at home, or you can just think about the answer in your head. Okay, so our first question is, what is the example of water in this picture and what is the example of the landform? And I also want you guys to be thinking about what does the water do to the landform? So I'm gonna have you guys pause the video again and jot down your answer um, in your packet. If Again, if you don't have a packet, you can talk to somebody at home or just think about the answer in your head. So in this example, the water would be the river that's flowing through, and then the example of the landform would be the mountain. When we're thinking about what the water does to the landform, the river is changing the shape of the mountain over time. And again, this is probably a pretty slow process, but as the water's flowing through the mountain, it's making it become smaller and more rounded. So that's how it is changing. Okay, so here's a different picture from our book. So again, we're going to be thinking about what is the water in this example, and how is it different from the other water in our other examples in the book? So again, you can pause the video and write your answer down in the packet talk to somebody at home, or think about it in your head. Okay, so our example of water in this picture is our glacier. So what's different about the water here is that this is actually an example of a solid form of water because the glacier is actually made of ice. So typically in our book, we've seen other examples where the water is in liquid form, whether that's a river or a stream or a beach. So that is a difference in the way the water is shown. Okay, so again, in this picture, what is the example of the landform? And what does the water do to the landform? So the landform in this picture is the valley. Um, and over time, glaciers will, as the glaciers move very slowly, as the book said. So even though you can't see a glacier moving, like you'd see a river moving, it is moving over time. And as it moves, it's pulling solid rock down with it. So over time, the glacier will make the valley wider or make it into a bigger U shape. The examples we just discussed provide evidence to support the idea that both liquid water and solid water can change the shape of landforms. The water in rivers, streams, glaciers, and the ocean is powerful enough to change a landform. All right, so that is the end of lesson three for you guys. We did all three activities and you guys will tune back in for lesson number four.